Hi, welcome to Dr. Gondra Center. And today I wanted to discuss with you guys endometriosis. Endometriosis is a very, very common condition which I um, take care of a lot of patients with endometriosis. Um, the main thing with endometriosis is that they cause two major problems. One is infertility and other, the other one is pain. So sometimes how we address um, the treatment of endometriosis is on a change if um, we are treating pain or uh, infertility or we are treating both. From the fert endometriosis, um, what it is? Well, there is different theories about where it comes from, what it happens, but the most popular and the most accepted one, and I think probably the one that most of the time is the reason, which may be more than one, but is that the inside of the uterus, the endometrium, which is the lining that sheds every month, it's composed of those cells, and those lining, that cells are supposed to shed every month. When we have some of those cells and, and glands, they come and escape through the tubes, and they implant into the abdominal peritoneal cavity. So what happens is you have little endometrial cells implant in your peritoneal cavity. So every time we, you, you, you go through a cycle and your estrogen level goes high, that estrogen goes and makes your endometrial lining thicker, right? Okay, it's also feeding these little endometriotic implants that you have in your peritoneal cavity. Then what happens? You ovulate, you, you, um, you don't get pregnant, you have a period. What happens with endometrial lining? It sheds and it bleeds. The same that happens with those endometriotic implants. So every month you're having internal bleeding and that's what's caused so much pain. It depends how severe. If it's very, very mild, it will be very, very little inflammation, doesn't really cause blood. But some people get so bad endometriosis that when I do surgery, I go in the abdomen and I find blood. And that's because of the endometriosis, just doing that. Endometriosis has four stages. Stage one, two, three, and four. Stage one is the, um, the mildest one. And when you see those patients, you diagnose them in laparoscopy. There are very, very few lesions, and they are not really severe. They are very mild, but the problem is they still can cause a lot of pain. The severity of endometriosis does, has no correlation with the severity of the pain. So some people who have a stage one endometriosis, which is very mild, and have excruciating pain. Now then you go stage two, three, and four, and four being the worst. Stage four. Normally you find at this point endometriomas, adhesions, tubes blocked, um, a lot of inflammation, blood on the abdomen, and these ones are the ones that are going to cause also a lot of infertility issues. Why? When the little endometriotic implant I told you sometimes goes and um, it sits on the tubes, it causes those tubes to get blocked, and that at the end, and that's over time grows, dilates, and becomes what's called a hydrosalpix. The hydrosalpix is, is, is full of these substances being secreted by the, uh, the, the, the mucosa of the tubes that are full of free radicals, and which is toxic for embryos too. So even if you can get pregnant from the other side, you have a, a, a free radicals on that side, and that, that hydrosalpix is draining into the uterus. That could also impair the implantation of a pregnancy trying to you know, be happening from the other side that is not blocked. The most likely the hydrosalpic is on endometriosis happening on the left side because we have on the left side the species. We have the sigmoid, the retin, the uh, ovary, of course, and the tube. Versus on the right side, it's only there is no uh, rectum or sigmoid uh, coming down. So it, there is no... So so much um, uh, areas that are very compromised that can be stuck with each other. When the endometriotic seeds go inside the ovary, they start bleeding and bleeding and bleeding, and then it becomes a cyst, which is called an endometrioma. An endometrioma is a cyst of blood made by the endometriosis. It doesn't really have a cyst wall because it's more like the, the the, the, the endometriotic tissue responding or reacting to it, uh, the, the ovarian tissue, but it's a cyst of blood and it gets bigger and bigger and bigger and sometimes it gets very, very large and causes lots of pain. Endometriomas can be in one or two both ovaries. 
So stage three, four endometriosis, where you start to see endometriomas and uh, hydrosalpine cheese, uh, tubes blocked, uh, a lot of nodules of endometriosis, um, the bowels getting also uh, compromised, those are the ones that most likely cause infertility. So if we are treating infertility, it's a little bit cumbersome. Uh, there is two uh, schools of thought. Some people believe that you should not do a lot of surgery for endometriosis, such as be very aggressive with IVF. And some people, some people believe that you should do surgery first and IVF after. Um, everybody has their own reasons to believe what they believe. Um, I go case by case. Uh, it depends on the patient, it depends on the symptoms, it, is, it depends on how, how many endometriomas, or they have endometriomas, if they have prior surgeries, what's their ovarian reserve. Endometriosis, because it's a chronic inflammation of the abdomen, causes infertility, no, or not only because it distorts the, um, the anatomy of the pelvis, or you know, burns your ovaries with that, that um, inflammation, and because there is inflammation and free radicals, and it might have a tubes block. Endometriosis also, because it causes, causes such a chronic, chronic inflammation, tends to uh, lower fertility and cause issues with the ovarian reserve in younger patients. So you do have to have endometriosis, and you're not trying to get pregnant, you need to do whatever you can, talk to your physician about how to keep the endometriosis under control because every month you're having cycles and every month you're not dealing with it, this is gonna help your fertility for the future. If you need fertility treatment, uh, sometimes uh, if we get, we do surgery and we fix things, we can help people to get pregnant with um, inseminations. Uh, but many times people need IVF because the fertility is already compromised and things are very, is, they're in bad shape. We always treat, if we can first, with less aggressive approach. Um, if you are treating pain, the best way to deal with it is just get rid of cycles. You know, there is no need to bleed. So come on continuous birth control pills and avoid, avoid placebos, and then you're gonna feel much, much better. Of course, you have a hydrosalpings or a big cyst, you might need to deal with that first. Okay, so I hope this helps. Have a good day.